This video shows the process for using the Composer tool within CMonkey in order to edit your local HTML files. Begin by going into CMonkey and then choose the window for Composer. That will launch the Composer tool on your desktop. You'll then want to use File Open to open up the HTML file that you wish to edit. I'll choose the minutes file on my screen. Then I need to click on the open button. And then in this view, you'll notice that I have the file loaded into my composer. Just quickly step through the tools that are available to you. The first drop-down box on the formatting uh, line is for paragraph styles. Again, use Heading 1 for the page title, Heading 2 for any major sections, Heading 3 for subsections, and Heading 4 for sub-subsections. This improves the accessibility for people using screen readers and other assistive devices. The next tool is your foreground and background color. So you can choose a foreground color and a background color. Next, you can change the font sizes to make them smaller or larger. Again, for accessibility, uh, it's often best not to use the color or font size because that will restrict things uh, when the final user gets to uh, view the file. It's better to use the built-in uh, Cascade style sheet support and you can uh, contact technical support for creating a external style sheet for your course. Next tools are for boldface, italic, and underline, very similar to Microsoft Word, use of bullets and numbered lists. Also, you can use the indent text um, tool. Uh, this is something that is preferable to spacing, so it's best to use indent text if you want to have text um, be uh, indented or tabbed in. And then finally we have the paragraph positioning in the formatting. So we have left justified, centered, right justified, and then fully justified. In the toolbar we can create a new file, open a previous file, publish our work, and um, in this case we'll be actually saving our work and then uploading it directly into uh, our uh, course site. You can also build a hyperlink, insert an image, insert a table, and then do spell check on your document. So I'm going to uh, change my document. I've made an edit. I can now use the save button and now my file has been updated. I can close this file and then open it up again in the CMonkey browser to verify that the file has actually been changed. And we'll notice that the file has been changed. At this point you're done editing and you can continue on to the step for uploading the file back into your course site.